Hello guys, I will show you the humidity control system I built over this semester. Um, the motivation is because the indoor humidity is too low in the Binghamton area, especially in winter time. So I need to find out a way to increase the humidity. And I want the humidifier to work automatically so that I won't need to turn on or off the humidifier by myself. Um, the, the design is very simple. There's a Raspberry Pi acting as a sensor, uh, sending the humidity reading to Raspberry Pi B, which functioning as a receiver. Uh, B then decides to whether turn on or off the humidifier by sending a control signal to the power relay. So here's the implementation. It's quite simple as well. I put a sensor head on top of A and get A gets the readings and write it into a txt file every 0 0.5 second, which will be sent every 0 0.1 second to B. On the B side, this txt file was read every 0 0.5 second, and B decides to whether turn on or off the humidifier. Uh, the environment I use is purely Python and some terminal command line. So these are the photos I took during the development, um, including some code and some hardwares. So in this photo, it's a power relay and the left one is Raspberry Pi A, the right one is Raspberry Pi B. Again, some code and my humidifier. So this is all the hardware uh, I use during the development. Thank you. Uh, hello to you guys watching this video. Uh, it's a recorded demonstration on my humidity control system project. Uh, first, let me show you the setup I have right now. Uh, there are two Raspberry Pis. Um, let's call the left one A and the, the right one B. So as you can see, there, are, there is a sensor head on top of A. Uh, a is working as a humidity sensor. Uh, it will send the humidity reading to B. B then will in turn um, turn on or off the power relay depends on the reading it received from A. So if humidity reading is high, uh, the humidifier connected to the power relay will be turned off. And if humidity is low, the humidifier will be turned on. So the implementation is very easy. Uh, first, I will let A get reading from the sensor every 0 0.5 seconds uh, and write the reading to a local TXT file. Uh, then I use the terminal to repeatedly send this file to B using the SCP method. Uh, the, uh, here's the B, B uh, monitor. So. The program on B refresh uh, the text file every 0 0.5 seconds. So the whole system is uh, responsive enough to make decision to turn on or off the humidifier. So let's demonstrate. As you can see, uh, if I turn on the humidifier, uh, it will not be powered on because it's connected to the relay and now I haven't run the program. So okay, so that's a fresh start. It is actively sensing the humidity level. And this is the command line I used to transmit the txt file using SCP method. So it's it's basically refresh every 0 0.1 seconds. Okay, let's hit enter. Let's move to that monitor and here. Uh, if we open the humidity reading, it's now showing 21.53. And let's open again. Oh, it's 21.52, so it actually worked. 
So now let's run the actuator program. Okay, so if the humidity I set is 30%, so if humidity is below than 30%, uh, the humidifier will be turned on. So let's give a small demonstration here. So what we are doing is uh, to increase the humidity reading. Okay, as you can see, the humidity reading is increasing and wow okay the humidifier is turned on oh sorry turn off and if we wait a bit longer we can actually sh um, discover the humidity reading will going down oh it's still going up sorry <laughs> okay you can yeah, you can see it's going down. A few moments later. Okay. It will work again very soon, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Okay, it works. Thanks, guys.